Well, we made it to another Thursday. The line's fixing to start moving. Y'all, there is a lot of people here today. I don't, I can't see my face on my phone, but maybe y'all can see. And y'all wanna see Nugget and Brindley. They've been waiting very patiently for this line to move. Oh goodness, y'all, I've sat here till my lower back's kind of stiff. I've been visiting with my friends on YouTube and texting some of my friends on YouTube. I'm glad that we shared phone numbers so we can uh, actually talk. So when I get to know you well enough, if you want to email me your phone number, I'll share mine if I feel comfortable with you. I don't share it just with anybody. Just with people that I feel comfortable with. And I have made some really good friends that I think will be my friends forever on here. Some friends come and go. They're friends for the moment. But that's a part of life. That's just a part of life. Y'all, it's hot in the sun today. Now, our temperatures have been a lot hotter. But I think because we've had so many clouds and so much overcast skies, that it just hasn't felt that hot. But buddy, let me tell you, the sun is shining in Texas this morning. My car is only showing 87 degrees, but it feels in this car. Uh, I've had this air conditioner running on high and thank God y'all, let me give y'all an update on my air conditioner. Tuesday, I ended up taking my truck to the shop because since I've started using this air conditioner oh, six weeks or so ago, because I bought this truck and it was cool weather, so I didn't need it. And I started using this air conditioner and it would blow cold and it would blow hot. And every time I would check my app, my app's supposed to tell me what's wrong with my car. And it has told me nothing was wrong. And I would call Tipton Ford where I bought it they would tell me nothing was wrong. That I had to bring it up there when it was blowing hot air. Well, every time it was blowing hot air, I couldn't get it there in time. Or it would be after five or on Sunday or, you know, whatever, when I was, you know, leave, uh, leaving church and I'd have to drive all the way home with hot air. So Tuesday, I went up there and got to talk to a different man. I don't know why this car ain't moving. Y'all, he tickles me direct in this traffic. I'm just glad ain't nobody run over him. I worry about somebody running over him because these people try to dart out a line real quick. Those of you that follow me know I've talked about this stuff, but I really worry about him getting run over because he has to walk in front of every one of these cars back and forth, back and forth. And y'all, I don't know how many cars is behind us, but uh, right now I see four rows deep behind me. So there's at least four more lanes. Uh, I'm the end of the line and it goes all the way to the street over there. Anyway, I was telling y'all something and he distracted me. Oh, my air conditioner. Uh, they asked, could they bring me home and, and keep it? That they were getting a code that it was leaking uh, coolant. I said, sure, please keep it and fix it. 
I haven't even had my first oil change on this truck yet. And I told them that I had decided, because see, I've been dealing with this all this time, and see, they hadn't been looking at it. Uh, I was questioning my sanity at some point, y'all. I'm not kidding. Like, is it really blowing cold? Is it really blowing hot? Like, it was really messing with me. And uh, they said they couldn't find the leak. And I said, well, what do we do? I haven't even had my first oil change. I said, I'm pretty sure, because I've been in this truck, you know, a lot, and y'all have it. I said, this is cutting off and on. It's almost like something is shorting out. Because when it would blow cold, oh, it would freeze you out. Y'all, he's having the hardest time getting these cars to move down here. I don't know what's going on. I'm trying to talk to y'all and focus on what he's doing or tell, telling us to do. Okay, he told me to go, so here we go. Maybe I can tell my story now. Anyway, they kept my truck all day from lunch till late in the evening. And I called and asked them if they found anything wrong. And the first person that I ever talked to about this is who I had to talk to. She said, let me go back in the shop and see what's going on. She came back and said, it was leaking and they couldn't find the leak that they were going to put dye in it <coughs> that I needed to get it back drive it around a few days and then that way I didn't have to do without a car and uh, wherever I guess it stained they would know that it was leaking so we arranged for them to come and pick me up they had bought me home they were going to come pick me up and take me back to get my car 5 o'clock so I got dressed because I was just at home comfortable so I got dressed so the young man could come pick me up and I waited a good little bit took the pups for a walk and they called me back and I'm thank God that the phone call came through because I had not had phone sir I don't have phone service a lot y'all I, I don't know I'm so disgusted with our phone service like it shows me like a little tape recorder icon at the top where my phone service bars are so I tell everybody all the time to text me because eventually the text will come through but if you call me and don't leave me a voicemail it won't even show me I had a missed call. So, if you need to call me. Y'all look at this tree over here that come down. I'm telling you, we got trees down everywhere from that wind. Anyway. Uh, they call me and said he found it that he found the problem. And I said, well, thank God, what was it? And they said it was a crimp, a bent spot in the line, and they were pretty sure it come from the factory like that. And I said, I told y'all, I told y'all it had to come from the factory. Because it's been doing this since I've been running the air conditioner. And they're like, well, you were right. And I was like, well, thank God I'm not crazy. Because, you know, after you're told so many times nothing's wrong or they can't find anything wrong, you start questioning your sanity. That's exactly what I was doing. And in my old age, I find that it's really easy to do that if you're told enough times nothing's wrong. So... They totally redid that line from what I understand, but they said if it didn't work, that they would just put a whole new air condition system in here if they have to. But I can tell y'all right now, I drove it to church last night and I turned it up like I had been doing and it wasn't 
I bet two miles down the road, I turned it down because you could have hung meat in here. It was so cold. And right now, my feet are like icebergs from sitting in this truck for an hour waiting for this line to move. And uh, I don't even have to turn it up like on high like I was doing. So uh, hopefully it's fixed, thank God, because summer, our summer heat's about to hit us. We've still been being in the 60s at night and for Texas, y'all, that's very pleasant for this time of year and 80s in the daytime, that, that's a good temperature for us because usually around the 4th of July, those double digits start kicking in with that high humidity. And y'all, that's when I wanna leave Texas for about three months because that's the time of year I hibernate. I hibernate in the house, in the air conditioner. I go out after dark to water plants and I walk early in the morning and y'all, I can't be out in it cause I can't breathe. And the older I get every summer, it's harder and harder on me because of the breathing issue. So when I would go to lunch, I went, I had a couple of friends that's taken me to lunch and paid for my lunch after church on Sunday. And I really appreciated that. It was a it was a nice treat uh, because I go home. I go home. I eat every meal at home. And they're like, go to lunch with us. And I'm like, y'all know I can't afford that. So they offered to pay for my lunch and I went. And it was very, very nice. It was very pleasant. I really enjoyed getting to sit in the restaurant and visit with my friends because that don't happen a lot for me. Uh, I used to do it all the time when I worked, but I can't do it anymore. Uh, you know, I get a gift card or a, something, you know, every once in a while as a gift and uh, and eat out. And that, that's really a nice treat. Very nice treat, y'all. But uh, I enjoy eating at home. I do better healthier. I'm healthier because I eat at home. But it, it is nice to have a treat every once in a while. And I will treat myself every few months or so. I'll go eat something, but ain't not very often. Not very often. But uh, unless, I, like I said, unless it's a gift card or something. My friends will give me gift cards for my birthday, you know, or the, the nieces or nephews give me something for, you know, whatever, just because. And I use it for stuff like that. But, um, uh, Anyway, I'm going to jump off here. I just thought I would give y'all an update on my air conditioner. Oh, and thanks to everybody that prayed for me the other day when I said in the video that I wasn't feeling well. Uh, in the video, the um, what does the devil see when he looks at you? Uh, I've been getting a lot of response for that. from that. I'm getting a lot of positive response from that. And I appreciate y'all uh, watching, watching that. I do feel like... And y'all, it may just be me. I don't know. All I know is there's a strong conviction on my heart, in my spirit, when I do those videos. It's not just something I sit and make up. Uh, because like today, I couldn't do one of those videos for nothing. Uh, I've got to have that in my spirit to be able to do one of those videos. And I've been asked to teach classes of different kinds and stuff. And y'all, I just don't feel led to do it. The words are just not there. I tell people I just can't do it, and I don't. Uh, so I don't know what the deal is about doing these YouTube videos. But about two years ago, those videos, messages started being laid on my heart. And I do believe that the Holy Spirit guides me to do those or I couldn't do those y'all because I'm too a shy person it's easy for me to sit here and talk to this phone there's nobody in this car but you can ask anybody even at church I, I'm like the little church mouse I don't talk to people I didn't in school that's why everybody my family thought I couldn't do hair but I did learn to talk to people doing hair and I had a good clientele for 32 years. I made a living at it. 
supported my son as long as I needed to. I've always had a home, a car, uh, what I needed. Uh, nice clothes, was able to help other people. Uh, made a good living at it, y'all. The Lord blessed me tremendously, tremendously. Uh, you know, there's always somebody that made more money or, you know, whatever. But I was blessed. I'm still blessed. But um, I've done talk to we've got up here all the way. This line's moving pretty quick today. He put Nugget's window down. He's wanting to see. He was asleep, and he realized we was moving. <laughs> Y'all, Nugget is such a character. He is a mess. Him and Brinley, they're so different. They're so funny, both of them. And, and you know, just like a child that's nonverbal, a mom develops just like an infant baby. You know, the first year of life or two years, they don't talk. But the mother knows what they're saying and what they want. It's the same with these dogs. People are at my house and those dogs will start doing something and I tell them what those dogs are wanting. And they get tickled at me. But I'm with these dogs just about 24-7. I leave them here and there for a couple of hours to do things that they can't go do. But as long as they can go, they're with me. Well, looks like we're getting watermelon again. Thank the Lord. I've been enjoying those watermelons. We had watermelon last night for a snack, and I told the pups, maybe we'll get another one tomorrow, because they eat watermelon with me. Y'all, any fruit and vegetable I enjoy, and this place is such a blessing to me. That's the boss lady. She runs things over here. My friend I worked with does her hair and Miss Terry's hair. That's how I know them originally. Good morning. Front seat. Here. Yes, right. ma'am. Get you go all the way down. Hey, pup. Hey, pup. Guys, <laughs> I've seen you before. Yes, we're coming every day. No, 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 I know. No, no, You're don't so do excited, that. aren't you? Don't do that. She's a talker. There we go. We got a little uh, chihuahua that just barks all over the place. Oh, goodness. Yeah, she talks. Thank you. Yay, we got goodies. Oh, y'all, let me turn. I'm not going through that hole. I remembered. I remember not to go through the hole. And he's gonna pull up there and not let me through. Oh, I think I can go out right here. I was gonna turn right there where that man parked. We'll just go this way. I guess he didn't realize I was fixing the turn through there. That big old hole's down there on the other end. And you know, every time I go through there, I say, I don't need to go through there. Okay, let's get out on this highway. This is kind of a bad, we're coming from a hill from the left and a big curve from the right. So it's kind of hard. Well now, that truck down there turned. If he'd have had that signal on, I could have went. He didn't have his signal on. See, we got the, the hill right here. You can't see over this hill. So you have to be real careful when you pull out. The nugget's gonna be mad because I'm gonna roll his window up. Y'all hear that popping? If I don't roll it up, it sounds like a helicopter in here. Okay, we're headed home and we'll show y'all what we got when we get there. Okay, guys. This is produce today. We got a, uh, y'all, what is that? Honeydew melon. 
not cantaloupe, honeydew melon maybe, some kind of melon. It don't say on there what it is, it just said vine ripe. Vine ripe, I don't know. It'll be good, whatever it is, I'll eat it. And we got a watermelon. Sounds like it's a good one. It's got a little soft spot right there where it's bruised, but the this part looks good. If this is brown all the way around, that usually means it's a good, it's a good melon. And if it sounds hollow, my grandpa taught me how to do that when I was a kid. Um, and another three pound bag of potatoes. So these, I think y'all, these cucumbers have dirt on them. These cucumbers I think were picked out of somebody's garden and donated because those cucumbers have sand. They need to be washed. And those cucumbers did not come out of a grocery store because they don't have any wax on them. Those are fresh cucumbers from somewhere. So those are gonna be delicious. So anyway, this is produce haul, first produce haul of June, 2024. We love y'all, y'all be blessed, know you're loved. Uh, Jesus loves you more. Don't forget to say your prayers, and we'll see y'all in the next video.